trying to put my coat on at the same time with film. Uh, this is awkward. Probably got a good, good close up of my ear there. What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. Starting this vlog super nervous about today for multiple reasons. First reason is I have not edited yesterday's vlog yet. The time is half past nine in the morning and as you can see I'm fully dressed and driving. Or you, you'd hope that I'd be fully dressed um, in a daily vlog. But I am um, heading over to Essex to dub customs and gad tuning to meet up with Jonathan that I was supposed to do earlier on in the week. So that's my first um, worry is the fact that the vlog hasn't been edited yet. I've got a 5 p.m. upload time that I always keep to. However, it might yesterday's vlog might not have uploaded at 5 p.m. but I can't foresee the future, so I don't know actually when I'm gonna have the chance to edit the vlog yet. My second concern of the day is that I have 63 miles left in the fuel range. 32 miles of that is from the fuel tank and 31 miles of that is from the electricity. So what I'm gonna do instead is fill the tank up of fuel so that I can just use the fuel to power the electricity so that I can get to uh, GAD tuning over in Essex, which is 40 miles away. So 40 miles is fine for me to get there it's getting back that would be the problem. So when I get there, hopefully I'll have a fuel, a full fuel range or whatever it is. Plus I'm gonna try and use their electricity there to charge the car. It's just really awkward. Like it's fine going into somewhere you don't know and saying what's the Wi-Fi password, but it's weird going into somewhere and saying, can I borrow your electricity to charge my car? As a human race, I just don't think we're there yet. Right, put it in park. Put the electric thing on. Oh, I need my wallet. I will need my wallet. Not. I'm probably going to spend more money on breakfast in there than I will on the fuel. So there we go. We've cut the power. It's going up. <laughs> it's we've got a full tank. Let's try and get it up to six quid. Six pound ten. Done. Check this out now. We've got 86 miles left and I'm gonna quickly put hold state of charge, which now means I would always have 28 miles of battery until those 58 miles of fuel have gone. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to Dub Customs and there is a serious car here that I was not expecting to see. There is a Porsche box, no I'm joking, no I'm joking. It's a 918 and it's the one that was on Gumball. So I'm gonna carry my camera through, hope that I've parked okay here, and uh, meet, see the guys. Hopefully um, Jonathan's here, if he's not, then um, I can catch him arriving. I'm gonna be shooting a separate video with him. I'm trying to put my coat on at the same time with film. Uh, this is awkward. Probably got a good, good close up of my ear there. Here he comes. The de-chromed, beautiful Maserati. <laughs> Just can't help himself. You're making me jealous with that V8. Right. <laughs> You're saving the planet. Yeah, How's I did. Good, Good to see you. you. So we're here now for the long-awaited, long-awaited remap tune. Yeah. Well, basically, right, we're taking the engine out of this car here and we're putting it in my Mazzy, but we're not going to tell the guy that owns that car. It's going to be like a secret. It's a prank. Uh, the, it's a prank <laughs> video. <laughs> the most expensive prank video yeah. in the world. A million pound engine. Yes. There is some quiet. It's pretty chaos in there. There's not too much going on outside, but inside, whether you will remember the European trip that I did from Monaco to London with Tim, 
the film crew are in there filming f with Tim, um, and then Jonathan's Maserati's getting done. I'm filming a separate video, which is going to be going live on Sunday, I hope, that is going to be the sort of before and after of Jonathan's Maserati uh, Gran Turismo S. The 918. There, we've got Tim there and Jonathan. And then there's a Merchandago getting D-wrapped there. The Maserati's there. This car's getting wrapped. And it's just pretty crazy today. This is what my day is consisting of. I'm down at Dub Customs with a 918, with Merchandago getting D-wrapped, with Jonathan's Maserati getting um, remapped. And I am residing in the office because I haven't edited the vlog from yesterday and it is one o'clock. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get home, edit and upload for 5 p.m. So I'm gonna to have to edit here, as you can see, um, and try and get this video edited so that even if I leave at three, four o'clock, then I can still get home and use my home's internet to upload the video quickly and get it live, hopefully, as close to five o'clock as possible. We are sitting in the Gran Turismo. This is the first time that I've sat with the tints. Are we mm -hmm. good? Are we good to go? I was, just, good to go. I was just telling the viewers this is the first time that I've sat in the car with the tints. Yeah, I know, I know. It's, uh, it's so much warmer. All right. I'm just going to put it up there, but then when we move, I'm going to have to hold the camera. So this car is now 400 miles an hour. 410, I actually heard. 410? 410, yeah. But we're not going to be able to skip by the hill. <laughs> <laughs> And I have seen this. Look at that, the portable yeah. charger. It's a reverse red. We're not in Knightsbridge. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the current problem that Dub Customs have and the GAD tuning have with all of their cars here. I've just said goodbye to Jonathan. He's just driven off and made a lovely exhaust note as he uh, leaves. Look how tight the i3 is. Um, so now, I'm gonna jump back in the side. What basically explain your relationship with Dove Customs? So how are you working it? There are lots of people here. Tim's filming. Tim's basically filming his Tim's basically um, filming a segment to the show that we, well, that I was a part of back in um, the Monaco to London via Switzerland, Italy, Liechtenstein, and all of that stuff. And as you can see, it's all going on. <laughs> Everyone's watching. And Tim, it's like there's too many people behind the camera watching the thing. And everyone's saying, how many views does he get? And he's getting, obviously, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, millions of views on his YouTube channel. There's no yeah, views. And he's complaining about this. Little bit more? Little bit more? He's going to talk to the back now. Yeah, Thought I'd get a camera out. I saw you coming. Wait, wait. How you are you doing? Standing proud. Good to see you. You too, man. How you doing? You cool? Yeah, say hello. Hey, we've got all people. <laughs> oh, this might be the last time that I've seen you. What a crazy, what a crazy Thursday afternoon at Gad Tuning and Dub Customs. Are we ready to go? Really? Is this car saying I'm ready to go? Yes. We are on the move back home. I'm hoping the M25 isn't busy. Um, I should really have just taken a picture of um, Jordan's Audi TT. So I'm gonna go back round. Um, for those that briefly saw Jordan, um, Jordan Banjo from Diversity, if you don't know who he is. His Audi is here. Um, he is about to change Audi, so I'm excited for him. Um, and we're definitely gonna do a video. We are definitely gonna do a video, whether we can do something cool. Who knows, right? This is goes into Instagram, behind the scenes. Instagram, man, his, his Audi TT is so cool. I will get it on camera, but. Look at it. Can you see that? 
Man, what a cool day. Great to see Jonathan and go out in his Maserati. There's a separate video coming soon um, when we head off to Nando's. We don't actually film in Nando's, that's in his vlog. So check out his YouTube channel for that. That's going to live tomorrow at 6 p.m. But then Tim was there filming. I did a bit of filming with him, so I was on camera being asked a few questions about Tim, what he's like on, off camera, in London, on YouTube, blah, 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 blah. Let's go. Oh my God, I just hit massive traffic. Oh, for God's sake. This is not good for the vlog. Press the engine start. <laughs> 